All right, today we're going to, I'm going to show you how one way to lay out your book's text in openoffice.org so that you can then upload that file to lulu.com, createspace.com, or wherever you want to self-publish your book and have it look decent. So this is part one. We're just going to do some basic setup for the for the the open office file that you're going to use. So open up openoffice.org writer, uh, just a brand new document, and then we're going to go to format, styles and formatting, which is where we're going to do everything that we're going to do for this part. Go ahead and up here we have several different styles, uh, or rather classes of styles. We're going to go to the page styles tab first. And we're going to create two new page styles. So we do that by right clicking anywhere really and then saying selecting new. And the first style we want to create is called blank. And my computer's slow so it'll take a second. Then go ahead and click on the page tab and we'll make the page size to be 6 by 9 which is a very common size for self-publishing companies. We'll choose the page layout mirrored on the inside, 0.75 inches, and everywhere else, 0.5 inches. For the blank pages is where we're going to put uh, pages like this. We're going to put the title of your book as well as the copyright information. So we don't need anything else. Say OK. And there it is up there. Go ahead and right click again and let's create another new page style and this one we will call basic. And this will pre-fill no matter what you do with the same style and let's just leave it to say basic on both. Again click on page. When it comes up we're going to change again to 6 by 9 again mirrored and again uh, 0.75 inches for the inner margin and then 0.5 inches for the others. Now we're going to do a couple of things a little different on this page. I want a header and a footer so that you can uh, put the book title and, and, or, and or chapter name on every at the top of one, whichever page you want as well as the page number on the bottom. So we'll turn on the header. We click off, same content left right and I'm going to reduce the spacing a little bit to 0.1 inches and for the footer I'm going to do pretty much the same thing footer on, uh, click off same content right left and then again I'll change that to the spacing to 0.1 inches now if you wanted to put a line in between that header or the footer and the, the rest of your text, you would select whichever one you wanted to do that with. Header, you would select more and then select borders and then uh, you know play with whatever you would. And, and sometimes that's nice for, for your book, but uh, not today. <laughs> okay. So now we have our page style set up. We're going to go to the paragraph styles tab and change a couple of these styles. The first one we want to change is title. Modify the title. Uh, it's already come up, but if it doesn't, go ahead and click indents and spacing. And above paragraph, we're going to say three inches. We're going to push the title way down the page. Actually, not three. We're going to say two inches. And alignment, make sure it's centered. The font, you can change to whatever you'd like. I'm, because the, the little file I'm using as a demo here has a very long name, I'm going to go ahead and make the font size a little bit smaller for the title. Say OK. And then you can also change the subtitle, wherever that is on the list, right there. And that's where you would put your byline. And then we're going to create a new style. We're going to call it copyright. And I'm going to make it so that it's not linked with anything because it kind of imports some of the settings when it's linked with 
another style. So we'll go to indents and spacing above paragraph. We're going to say three inches. Uh, again, alignment, we're going to center, center it, and font. I'm just going to leave it as is, but you could go ahead and select a new font and everything for it. Next up, we're going to, let's see here, we're going to just tweak ever so slightly the text body style, and then we're going to create another new style. So text body, we're going to modify. And of course, you can change the fonts to be whatever you want as we go along here, but I'm not going to just because Times New Roman prints just fine. So indents and spacing for the text body. Uh, at the beginning of every paragraph I want, we'll say a half an inch indentation. And so you change the first line to be that. And I also want the text to be justified. I leave everything else as is. Say OK. So new. And we'll go ahead and link this one. Oops, went up too far to text body. And we're going to call this text body first, meaning the first paragraph of any regular text. The only difference here is we're going to remove the indentation from the first line so that the first paragraph of every chapter looks a little bit different. Uh, also, you can use the drop caps up here, and that generally gives some, uh, you can get some good looking professional effects if you have at least three lines of text at the beginning of every paragraph. Uh, you could, you would select down here, drop caps whatever you wanted to do it. There's plenty of options there. I, however, am not going to be using it for this this demo. All right, and the last one, well, the last few we want to tweak is the header left, header right, and heading one. Heading one is going to be the beginning of every chapter, so we're going to kind of push the main text down a little bit. So again, indents and spacing, say below paragraph here. And we'll say, go oh, call it, two, oops, two inches below every, uh, two inches below the paragraph of space, and then point to above. And then again, you could change the font if you wanted. I'll just leave it alone for right now. Actually, I'm going to change it and force it to be eight in point rather than based on a percentage. Say OK. In the next style, we'll say header left, modify, and basically I just want to change the font for, or I, I want to change it to a smaller font so that it's le it doesn't get in the way of the rest of your text when you end up uh, printing out your book. And because it's on the left side, we'll make sure it's left justified. Say OK, then on header right, we'll do the same thing, except we'll justify it to the right. And of course, uh, those header things look fine when they're centered as well, and you have that option. Now I think we have everything set up for the file that we need, and hopefully uh, you'll go on to part two and see how to actually use this setup file to insert your text and have it look nice and spiffy.